Christmas tree in the window pane just inside my door. I'm ready to go. It's December 27th, Sunday, 2 o'clock West Coast or Central. We're going to have our last Moss Genealogy and Research Group <clears throat> Zoom meeting of the year 2020. We want to have a joyous occasion, talk and laugh and let everybody be who, who they are. It's not, there won't be an agenda per se. We're just going to enjoy each other and close this year out on a positive note. That's the plan. So let me check something. Participants who were telling me about this, and I can. Oh, it has to be three or more for, for me to be able to do it. So I'll wait on that. There's a new tool called Spotlight. I want to see how that works. I had my 70th birthday Zoom event on the 19th. Had a large number of people participate. It was really good to see everybody. Pretty emotional, as a matter of fact. A few of the members from this this group attended and from my San Diego genealogy group attended. You know, their family. <laughs> so it's good to shut this year off out. We got rain coming. Tonight, let me see if I can share my screen real quick. Okay, there that is. How much? A little practice before we go share screen. Okay, so that's on there. There and here's what we got. Okay, cool. What else do I want to share? Let's see if I can get something else up here. my two lines. There they are. Okay, they about these the, the, the nails. Let me get my nails. Lucy. I'm going to get this. My, my older nails. My fourth grade grandparents. Okay, let me get it. Let's go with 
let's go with him. All right, let me get out of this real quick. Three people waiting. Let's see who they are. Uh-oh, big cuss. Uh-oh. What's my, happening? My cousin's in here. Yeah, how you doing today? Oh, big surprise. I told you I was going to start participating, man. <laughs> that is a big surprise. I'm glad to have you. Yeah, I'm glad to be a part of it, man. How was Christmas? Oh, it was awesome. Hey, uh, say first cousin, I'm... Adjust your screen like it's in a mirror, like, mm -hmm. you, like you're looking in a mirror. Okay, hold on. Hey, bring it up higher. Yeah, yeah, yeah a, little, a little bit more. Not, not like that. You're gonna have to. So we only see, we only see the top of your head. You know. Yeah, that's better. That's better. There you go. Better. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I see myself up there. Yeah. What's up, champ? Hey. How you doing today? Uh, you, hey. You you had a you had a close one. Huh? You had a close game today. Yeah, you, you know you're disturbing me now. <laughs> He's a Kansas City Chief fan. I can understand supporting Patrick Mahomes, man. <laughs> yes, that's about all. They were exciting, man. They, mm -hmm. they were boring, and they should have blew them out. Well, they're they're the, they're the division champs now. Yeah. Say, Mike, uh, aren't Bowl. the Minnesota in, in the playoffs? Who? Because of the theory. Aren't they in the score they got blown out? Uh, aren't they in the playoffs? 55 though? to 33. No. Who? No, they lost the last two or three games now. So they, they'll they be playing Detroit, who got whomped on by the Buccaneers. I think it was Tampa Bay. Okay. They put Tom Brady in the playoffs. Oh. You saw that yesterday. Oh, Mike's up in Minnesota. Yes. Mm -hmm. What part? Near the media, in Minneapolis, right on the border of Minneapolis and Noka County. I've been working with a, a cousin, a fifth cousin up there. She, she's up there. Her name is uh, Lisa Archer. She's in Minnesota. Right outside of Minneapolis, I think, in a little subdivision. Lisa, Lisa Archer? Yeah. OK. Yes. Yeah, I connect with her through uh, genealogy. Okay. But I have several. I have a, uh, some other relatives up there, too. Um, Pantene, last name is a Pantene from Minneapolis. They're, they're my uh, cousins on my mom's side. So it's, it's quite a few up there. I, I just found out. I just was doing some background on James Monroe Moss and discovered he was in Minneapolis from 1916 to 1920. Oh. Uh, 1920, he was listed as a minister. Uh huh. The other years, he had one year as a bartender, and then and he went between being a waiter and a porter. So the question that came up then is for those who don't know, I'm the newest cousin in the family. <laughs> um, yeah. James Monroe Moss was my grandfather, unknown until DNA put him into the tree. So he would be oh. my father's father, biological father. Um, my grandmother who was 16 at the time she got pregnant and James was in his 40s. The question I have, though, is Irving Moss, his son, 
my dad's stepbrother, was born a month later in 1918. My dad was born in June of 1918 and Irving was born in July of 1918. So you can, I, I we were pondering that. If he was a porter, maybe he got on and off the, the road. Real quick. <laughs> real quick, or we don't know if Bessie was here, but unlikely. <laughs> Uh, I don't think Bessie made it into Minneapolis or Minnesota. Yeah, that was his wife, wow. Betsy. Wow. That's an interesting story. So, uh, so uh, that is. Hey, so that means you match Jerry. That's Jerry's connection, Yes, right? Jerry was the one who reached out to us because he was down there in, what, fifth, fifth cousin or fourth cousin, something like that. Oh, OK. So James Monroe Moss would be my biological grandfather who we never knew until about August or so. So that's interesting. We'll dig a little more and see what we can find, but don't think we'll find much more in Minnesota. There's quite a bit of people up there that I've, I've got, whew, there's a bunch of people up there in Minnesota that I've, I've been talking to. I, I, yes. Yeah, I mean, uh, on both sides, on my dad and my mother's side. I'm wondering how did they get up there? Because <laughs> I'm from my parents are from from Texas. It was opportunities. It it, it was work. They had yeah. work. Uh, all of those. Uh, it wasn't the nice weather. Yeah, but they had work. You know, they had pack. They 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 had uh, industry. I don't know specifically. I know that Detroit that they had the cars. Chicago had the packing houses, and uh, hey Mike, what what was the industry that that drew people up there? Would be milling, would be the flour industry and the grains. Okay, um, that was That's big in Minneapolis, and there was a railroad, fairly large railroad. They did a lot of timber work uh, in the 1918s, 1900s. Oh. Near Stillwater, and you got to remember um, that America was on a war footing. They, they needed everybody they could to work uh, because we were in World War I. And it, it was right after 1918 that World War I st uh, you know, that concluded. But before then, all those industries, uh, like the packing houses in Nebraska, they had men, women, all different nationalities. And they had to, we, you know, the country was together. Because we we was fighting a war, man, World War One, and and that that provided opportunities, and that's what what my family they migrated and they were in the packing packing industry, meat packing, and so in uh, and Omaha, Omaha, Nebraska, and so in Omaha, meat. Nebraska is really big for the packing houses, uh, mm -hmm. of meat processing, and and so all the way from my great grandmother, my grandmother great grandfather, all the, and, and my uncles, when they did come to Nebraska, when they migrated to, to, to Nebraska, they were all packed, worked in the, in the meat packing industry. Well, it, it must be in the blood because I was a meat cutter as well. Oh, no. Well. tattoo here. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> that was a long time ago. <laughs> oh, that's not good. You know, uh, Mike, the other day I was looking at some of my my reference notes. Your brother Pat and I share 155 Central Morgans. Ooh, that's big. And I'm less than that? Uh, I, I can't confirm. Which one yeah, are you? The I oldest? think so. Which one are you are the oldest? I'm the oldest. Uh, Pat's middle. So Mr. J is your brother. Mr. No, my, there's Patrick. You know, the last meeting we had two two Patrick brothers. Patrick is my brother. Right. Pa Patrick and um and this is Mike. Mr. J. Mr. J, this is me. Juan yeah. Dale. That, that, that's, that's my first cousin on my dad's side. That's my father's okay, that's, brother's. Oh, I thought they were. Yeah. I thought they were no, brothers. My, no, computer, my computer listed as Mr. J. Yeah, he's oh, yeah, he's, Juan Dale Jackson. Yeah, he, he's he's new. He's new. He's a he's a new member. Everybody. He's my first cousin. Um, okay. uh, he's my father's brother's son. 
So he's a first cousin of mine. My father's brother, this is his son. So that's my first cousin. And he's uh, he's talked about it and he's he's always shown interest. And now he, he's here. He, was, he attended my uh, 70th Zoom birthday event last Saturday. And that was- Oh, I missed that. I'm that sorry. Was, I, I missed that. Yeah, it, it was pretty awesome. You know, it's good yeah, to be, I, hey, Eddie, it's good to be missed, you know? Oh, Jerry, I'm so sorry. I apologize. You, you still look the same, Jerry. Just a little older, but I still appreciate you, old man. <laughs> so, so while we have it, I just Happy want to... Happy birthday. <laughs> yeah, thank you. This is going to be like an open forum. We can just communicate with each other and let's have some just oh. brief introductions with the people we have and just tell us a little about who you are, uh, your connection, and what does it mean to be a uh, to do research on your family, uh, and we'll start with you, Mike. And All I'll, right. start, I'll start off. You know, like I'm from Jerry Moss. I'm from Omaha, Nebraska, born and raised. And um, the family history was broken with my uncles. I didn't get much information from them about who my grandfather was, who was a Moss. I didn't know if he had brothers or sisters. But once. A, because he died tragically at a young age. Um, as a matter of fact, he was killed by his nephew in, oh. in, a, in a jealous rage. Uh, so, you know, a lot of the family history has been sort of sub subdued, but I had a desire to find out more about him. And through this genealogy research, genealogy research I found out a lot about him. Not only did he have brothers, and sisters, he had two sets of brothers and sisters from his first, uh, uh, from his mother, her first marriage was Tom, Tom Thomas Moss. And uh, Mike, Thomas Moss is uh, James Monroe's brother. That's my second okay. grandfather. Just so, just so you know, that's your link. Thomas Moss is, uh, uh, is James Monroe's brother. And, um, so he had, he had my my grandfather Dave. He had two, two sets. He had like five five brothers and about four brothers and five sisters from one set that from Thomas Moss. And then my great grandmother she remarried after because my great grandfather he passed away at an early age too. So she remarried and had about another five or six uh, from from another set. So man. I had to do some creating then. I, I found out that he had, uh, you know, a, a number of siblings, and so I just started putting putting our family portrait together from there, you know, scientifically and from this DNA uh, through lines, verification, uh, Bibles, bi recordings in Bibles, and you know all the, all all of you you know when we get when we get together we we share our jam match numbers and then we see a connection there so we all help each other so that's 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 my uh that's my intro uh, mike well my intro is this past week i shared the dna story of james monroe moss with my daughters for the first they time know, for the first time well it wasn't until maybe within the last two weeks we were able to verify that James Monroe and Edna Dawes lived in the same boarding house in 1917, which would have been about the time Edna got pregnant. So that was the link. The DNA was there. We couldn't figure out how they got together, but they lived in the same house. One was a boarder, one was a resident. Don't quite understand what that all means yet. Yeah, about, about what year was that? It was 1917. Okay, guys, like fire questions if you have any, you know what I mean? <laughs> but not, don't ask me any, you know, go right ahead. So she was 16 and we didn't quite understand how she, how she got away from her mom and, or her stepfather and her mom. But um, then again, she was, wasn't quite living with them for most of her, her childhood. She was living with her grandmother, wow. her mother's mother. So my daughters, duh kind of were speechless, kind of like the commercial you see on Ancestry. They go, oh, I thought I was Filipino, you know, <laughs> kind of response. Um, um, but we, when we looked at the ethnicity, you know, you can see where it's kind of dropping off 
from, you know, almost half from what I am to them. Um, they feel a lot more Scottish than one daughter, more Scottish than anybody else. Um, so uh, I think they're still kind of digesting the new information about our biological grandfather and our Raleigh, the grandfather, who they never met. So that's kind of where we're at. Thanks for that story. That's kind of what but that ancestry kind of cautioned you on, didn't it? When it first started <laughs> saying, look out. <laughs> and you did too, Jerry. Yeah. Jerry, you said it's science. So that's kind of what it is. What it amounts to. Wandell? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> My name is Wandell Jackson. I was born in Omaha, Nebraska, and Hubert Moss is my biological father. <clears throat> I didn't find out about him until 1974 when I was 24 years old. And the only reason I found out about him, because I, uh, I was born in Omaha, Nebraska. I left there at age five and a half with my mother and my stepfather. And uh, they raised me until age 21, when my stepfather died at age 42. So in 1974, <clears throat> I decided to make a trip to Omaha, Nebraska. And then I got this... Uh, conversation with my mother because my uncle was going to tell me who my other side of my family was because I had no clue. Didn't know I was a, didn't know anything about my father or my other, my other two sisters. And how old were you? How old were you? Uh, Cause I was 24. Mm -hmm. and, and, and the only reason I probably was going to find out because uh, up until the age of 21, my stepfather didn't want me to know the other side of the family. So, and, and, and up until the time of his death, no one would dare tell me anything for having to experience his wrath. So that was a well-kept secret for all of those years. So <clears throat> when I came to Omaha in 1974 to bring my own family there, is when I was introduced to the Mosses. I met my father, I met my uncles, I met two sisters that I didn't know I had. So I met a whole nother side of family because my other family in Nebraska are, they're Perkins, uh, uh, they're Jacksons. Um, and so when you start finding out there's a, another side, they're Mosses, then I understood when I look at myself and see my father's graduation picture and looked at his graduation picture, mm -hmm. you can really see that he is my father because I look like him, you know, from the eyes because my eyes are hazel. And so when you start seeing this, this was a rude awakening. And then of course I met Jerry, because I think I met you in, in the eighties, wasn't it Jerry? And yes. I came out to San Diego for the first time, me and the kids. Yes. Yeah, I lived out there in Riverside County, and, and I drove to uh, San Diego to meet Jerry, spent the whole day, and we have been we have been close ever since then. So, and, and same age, too. I got Jerry by about seven months, you know, not quite, almost six, uh, six months and a few days, you know. <laughs> you know, but this Whoa. is... Huh? <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, I'm 70, you know, and uh, so this has been uh, so far, <clears throat> he's been talking about this. And I remember when he first started out, you know, a couple of people that I watched the genealogy continue to grow and grow. And then when I uh, attended his, uh, his Zoom birthday party, I told him I was going to get started because I was already participating in the last few years doing um, uh, uh Airship from my grandmother's side because my grandmother was from Mississippi and that's where my mother was born in, in Lawman, Mississippi. And oh. they migrated to Omaha, Nebraska. And my grandmother worked the packing houses and things like that. And so did my grandfather. So yes, this is um this is eye-opening. And I seen that during Jerry's Zoom birthday party and started seeing more relatives and I said I need to get involved because I have my own children I have my own grandchildren and they're going to need to know more of the family lineage 
on the Moss side because I carry the name Jackson and none of my children have a name of Moss. So they definitely need the side of the family that I don't know all of them, but hopefully moving forward, I'll meet a whole lot. Of them. And and thank, thank you, uh, cuz that's my first cousin. And, um, you know, my daddy's, my uncle Hubert, his son, you know, so first cousin, y'all yeah, know what I'm talking about. And um, on that, once him and I started building our relationship, we brought our kids in too. And and now our kids, our, our daughters, maybe the daughters and the sons, but the daughters, they're about the same age and they, they just hit it off tremendously. So they're up and down the coast or <laughs> you see them, you know. And they, they think. They, they, they're go getters, you know. <laughs> so it's just a blessing to see see how when you open up to your family to see the fruits. And, and so now as as the good Lord has allowed me to live this long, I, I'm seeing a lot of the treasures, you know, the harvest for reaching out and connecting. We just have a new member come in. Donise. Go on, go on, Gus. You know, it's really important, Jerry, uh, because there's always a lot of lost history. And uh, and see, like on my mother's side, we do an airship because my great grandfather had 258 acres down in Mississippi. So with my grandmother and all her siblings dying at, or they're all passed, you know, we're getting together, creating that type of relationship because of the land down there and relative that I've never seen up until about four years ago, because my grandmother and her two sisters came to Nebraska and my great uncles, they all stayed in Mississippi. They, mm -hmm. didn't, they didn't migrate with them. So it's, this, is, um, this is like new when you start talking about relatives on both sides because and I could see how the breakdown falls apart because through the years, even on my grandmother's side, we've never had a family reunion. I got hundreds of cousins because my uncles were busy. My mom was uh, one of eight. It was four brothers and it was four, four, four sisters. And there's plenty of children came out of, out of that, out of those eight. So, so, and then, and by them being in Omaha, what you know, because you grew up there, Jerry. Uh -huh. All those are all my cousins there that they knew each other, but I don't know if you knew they were related to me at that time. No, I didn't. I didn't see, and, and you know, like my cousin, because you, you, you know, my cousin Anthony Perry called him Bug. Yeah, but, well, you know, that's my first cousin on my mom's side, Anthony Perry. So and, and, and there's a whole lot of them in Nebraska as well, still there, hundreds. Because my, my aunt had 13 kids. And, more, and, and out of those 13 oh. kids, 10, 10 was boys. So uh, it, it was boys. What we're doing is we're having just, you know, some meet, meet and greet, just telling our story, you know, <laughs> that time at the end of the year, seeing who we are and talking, sharing our stories with each other. Uh, well, Tony and then Eddie and uh, uh, hey, Walt, how you doing? We'll have you and Donnie, you, you got a few minutes to hang in here with us? Sure. Okay, so yeah, let's go uh, Tony and Michelle, please. Hello. So they're, I'm here. They're, they're, they live in Texas. Okay. What yeah. part of Texas? Yeah. Houston. Yeah. Ask any, ask any questions, you know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm here because Jerry reached out to my daughter and um, told her about the Zoom meetings. And I managed my daughter's account. And when I saw that, I was excited, probably a little more excited than she was. And so I first tried to make sure and her, and her that name, and her name is Nicole Range. Okay. 
And so I wanted to make sure before I responded to make sure that it wasn't from her dad's side. So after some research, I realized it was on my side. And so I said, I wanted to attend the meetings. And what I'm finding now is that I am related to the Moss and the Hendersons on my mom's side and my dad's side. And I still don't know how. Um, <laughs> Eddie, Eddie, Eddie. It's, Eddie, do you know how? <laughs> Not Eddie, yet, huh? Hey, Wandell, Eddie's a Henderson. His Eddie Henderson, that's him. <laughs> so um, my mom's DNA came back um, in this past couple of weeks, and she's even more related Ooh. to the Mosses and the Henderson. <laughs> but even more names show up. And then I just noticed that Eddie said that his family... Um, your mother and father are from Texas? Yep. From East so, Texas. Um, maybe from their names and their their parents, I might can find something. I still just don't know. I haven't figured it out. My father's family is from Oklahoma. My mother's family started out in North Carolina and then moved up to Texas. So yep. somehow, I don't know how, I am related on both sides. And my husband is my support. So he's here I'm, I'm helping. I'm support. <laughs> yes, I do my own genealogy. I'm a hill from, I'm originally from Texas and I do a lot from uh, Colorado County, Texas, which is just west of Houston. Okay. Hello. Hey, are y'all gonna let him get away with just that little brief conversation? Is that all you, said? Is that all you want us to know about you? <laughs> <laughs> what else is there? Uh, well, well, you, you know, you I lived in Illinois. Um, I spent my first seven years in Columbus, Texas, and that's really how I know Anthony. We went to kindergarten and first grade together. Then I moved to Illinois, and um, I stayed there until I retired. So my daughter is still in Illinois. And when I retired, I came back to Houston, and I'm loving it here. Yeah, you still got him off the hook. <laughs> <laughs> hey, by the way, we got one of my young cousins. He just joined in. This is Jordan Rogers. How you doing, Jordan? I'm doing well. How are you? This is his first time, and he's, uh, you know, related to us. Uh, and to you, Mike, and all of us, you know, we're, we're pretty much related. By the way, Donise, did, did you, Donise, did you check that that Jed match number? No, I didn't check the Jed match number. No. Okay. okay. Is that? I gonna get some more information. Yeah, I, I tried to call her multiple well, times. I'm talking about. I gave you my Jed match number to see. If, oh, okay. If you, if we, if we are met, no, I haven't done that yet. Okay. Yeah. I'll, okay. I, I thought I'd give you a gift. Okay. But, that's okay, okay, I'll check it out. I've been really busy at Christmas, so. Yeah, us too. So, <laughs> so uh, hey, Jordan, just hang in there with us because like, uh, we're going through some brief introductions about telling who we are, where we're from, that kind of thing. And, and, and so we got Eddie, and then we're going to go to uh, Walt Moore. And we'll go to Donnie's and then you, Jordan, okay? Okay, mate, Michelle, what did, you, what did you retire from? Yeah, that's right, ask questions. <laughs> <laughs> from teaching <laughs> elementary school and middle school what, what did you teach um everything i was a reading specialist for a while i taught science social studies um fifth grade sixth grade junior high <laughs> oh my goodness really? me too <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> i taught second through to seventh grade but mostly i taught sixth grade i taught math and science mostly okay taught. I'm sure we have some stories to share. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's see. And I don't miss it. Love being retired. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's see. I think it's Mike's turn. Well, Mike had the interesting 
story before about telling his, my daughters about their new biological grandfather. That's the way oh, I started wow. it out. Um, so that was kind of like one of those ancestry commercial moments. <laughs> you know, with the mask on, you could see the look in their eyes that, oh, you know, this is, they're going to take some time to think about this. So. And my oldest daughter kept bugging me. She kept saying, when are you going to tell Brie? When are you going to tell Brie? Because she can't hold in a secret. Yes. So, <laughs> so I told Brie on Saturday and she called, Aaron called in the morning and says, do you tell Brie yet? I go, no, Aaron, just, just calm down, you know. But, so I'm sure they're talking about it quite a bit. So it is a lot to, to take in, though. It's quite the, quite the, the quite a change in, what oh. you're, in your thinking. But it's just the way it is. It's 100 years old, so what can we say? Yeah. Yes. Did they think you were pulling a practical joke on them? Oh, no, I've had my <laughs> share of practical jokes. Um, <laughs> one time I we were out to dinner in Philadelphia, and I said, we had big news. And just before her mom blurted out the big news, I said, you're going to be big sisters. And they both screamed. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> you look like a practical joker. It looked like you can pull off that a, was a good one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, one thing about uh, Michelle, uh, with, during her, her, her time now, she is studying in genealogy. Could you give us a little information on that? Because you know we want probably have to ask you some questions. What are you doing with genealogy okay. now? Okay, so I took a class. I'm working on, from that class, now I'm working on becoming board certified. Um, so I am doing genealogy more in depth. Um, from that class, it taught me how to go back and look at records that I had passed up. So I've learned quite a bit just personally and doing other people's records. So I'm excited about that. Okay. And, and what is it? What is the title uh, once you once you receive the certification? Certified gene board certified genealogist. Okay. And mm -hmm. it takes about a year, and I, I hope we get through it. Uh, I'm I'm just gonna keep doing it till I do. I'm sure we can do it. Anthony is gonna do it too. We're doing it together. Okay. All right. Is is it worth the time? For me. I think it is because from there, with my background in teaching, I plan on doing lecturing and things like that. Not that I have to be board certified, but um, I just think that'll help get me into other venues just because I have the credentials that um, some of the other people have. And so that's mainly why I want to have it because I think I could go out on my own credentials, but I want to have the board certification with it. Okay. Uh, last week, uh, I mean, uh, a couple of weeks ago, your daughter uh, attended, didn't she? Yes, I texted her. I guess she's busy right now. I don't know. She didn't answer. So I guess she's busy with her son. So. Okay, but it was good to have her. Yes. Okay, hey. champ. So on you, Eddie. Please share, you know, he's, my, he's one of my mentors. He's my technical mentor. Well, let's see. If you got all night, I can give you a whole story that lasts three days, but I, I, I'll condense it. I'm, I'm, a Ma, I'm from the Moss Branch, but we don't know where the Moss Branch connects with you, most of you guys. Uh, my parents are, were from uh, East Texas, Jefferson, Marion County, Texas. Is, Me, that, by, is, that, is that by Texarkana? Yeah. It's, it's uh, 50 miles from Texarkana. Okay. I was actually born in Texarkana. I was moved, my parents moved, separated when I was an infant. My mother moved us out to California. I grew up in the Northern, Northern California, actually in Richmond, Berkeley, Oakland. I went to high school in, in uh, East Palo Alto, California, which is on the peninsula. 45 miles outside of San Francisco in the Silicon Valley, so-called Silicon Valley. 
I started doing research because I didn't know anything about my grandmother. She passed away when I was eight. My grandfather passed away when I was 12. And, and what's your grand, what, to tell my grandma? My grandfather was a Moss. He was a, his name was Gabriel Moss. My, my grandmother was a, was a Adi Bell Moore from, from Magnolia, Arkansas. So oh, then, I, and I, I wasn't raised by my dad. So when I was old enough to really meet my dad, uh, we used to travel back and forth from California, me and my brother, to meet my father. My father passed. None of his siblings came to his funeral. So that's when I started doing genealogy to find out exactly who we were. And from there, I've been uh, doing it for about 15 years now. Uh, uh, also, uh, I'm, uh, I found out about my mother's side of family because she didn't really talk about it. Come to find out that in East Texas, my mother's side of family is one of a pretty large, wealthy family in East Texas. There was actually uh, slave owners and uh, property owners. So, and they are called Macintoshes. So Michelle, when she said she's, she's a, Henderson, I have no idea where Henderson's came from yet, because my grandfather was a, didn't talk about his family. I only met my grandfather that was a Henderson once in my lifetime, and after I met him, he passed away. So he never did talk about, my dad never talked about his family either. It was a really dysfunctional, it was 14 of them. Uh, so so now, uh, now I live in Kansas City, Missouri. I, I'm a graduate of Prairie View a and University. <laughs> and <laughs> just found out one of our mate, one of our uh, uh, more is an alpha. Oh, I'm an look alpha at that. Also. Look at that. Look at look at him. Yeah. So so we we're frat brothers too. Me and uh Cruiser is frat brother. That's old Walt. <laughs> and so uh but uh Look at him. All right now. I hear you, Frat. <laughs> so and so I do this and I I, I met Jerry through a, the same thing. Jerry, we reached out to one another because we knew Diana, Diane, uh, what's her name? Uh Trotter. When she was doing research on mosses. And so uh, I started helping and talking to Jerry. And that's why I'm here now. So I'm one of the guys that's outside trying to get inside the door. So if y'all let me in, I'll be happy. Hey, Eddie, tell us a little bit about your uh, your vocation that you had. My vocation? Yeah. Oh, well, uh, let's see. I graduated from Prairie View in 1979 with a degree in industrial technology. Uh, I left there and I, used, I worked in the manufacturing industry with Alice Chalmers Agriculture Division. Then I went over to General Motors and that's where I worked for 34 years until I retired. So I'm, I'm a retiree now too. Um, then I have a back, uh, master's degree in business administration from Baker University. And so, but those are just degrees. I, I do a lot of other stuff too. But see, sometimes people don't like it, like to, you know, <laughs> toot their horn, but like, he's really- no, my horn is slow. I don't want to toot my, then everybody he, says, that he, he can he, help us. He's, he's, <laughs> he's, really been, he's really been an asset to me. He, he's he's a team player, you know, he, he's definitely a team player and he's helped me technically uh, with uh, learning this program, how to use the different tools. And uh, another thing, he has a program that's called Family Tree Maker that he's he, he's uh, well versed on, and that's one of these programs that we use that we can get, get our family pedigree. You can get it printed out, your pedigree, and and it it, it 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 solves a lot of the information that you don't have. It has a lot of database, and you're able to put it towards your family, and then you can see where your family's from. So Eddie, could you tell us just, just one more thing about the family tree maker? Oh, okay, um, Jerry's put me on the spot. I don't, I'm gonna act like I don't know what I'm talking about. So don't y'all listen to me. <laughs> okay, uh, since, since, since you're on the spot, would you please share your screen? My screen? Yeah, do it, show us, show us. As I, I don't have it up. I don't have family tree okay. maker up. All right. 
But what it is, what I did, I shared with Jerry is that that's how I really kept up with all my information. When I first started communicating with Jerry, I used to send Jerry a, a report of my family history, my uh, descendants and relatives. Came out to about 240 pages of information. Uh, in Family Tree, I started out with just me. Then from there, I started researching and doing, finding out and putting together. It's one of the best programs I think out there for us to really use to find out and link our, our information. And, 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 to, and, 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 and excuse me, uh, 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 mm -hmm. and to share it. Because once yes. you get a pedigree chart uh, and it comes, you have a PDF file, you can send that to people. And it, then they instantly see where you are in, in your pedigree. It, it breaks it all down for you. And some people who are novices, for them to see that for the first time, uh, it, it, shows, it shows a lot of information. It clarifies, and then it gives you, uh, tool, it gives you information. Then you can start doing your verification. You can do your research from, from what you, from what you uh, generate from that family tree maker. And I, I purchased it too. Uh, you know, it's like about a hundred, hundred, hundred and something dollars, hundred uh, short of fifty. But it's a very, very uh, valuable tool that we use in our research, and that we share that information with uh, our team. Thanks, thanks, uh, Champ. And, yeah, and, he, and, and he, he lives in Kansas City. Go on, Eddie. Let me add to that. Let me add. To, also, I, th I think it's good for all of us since we all in this group together to have a tool that we can to utilize and to understand and really track what we find out. You know, you find out you start writing down a lot of information, then you lose it and don't know how to link it. Uh, this way, with this with the, this program, all the information I get, I put into the program and the program will generate a database for whatever I want to, to share with one another. Even it's tied to Ancestry online. So whenever you, do something in the program, it automatically loads it to Ancestry. If you go on Ancestry and put stuff in, it'll automatically pull it down from Ancestry and put it into the program too. So you can, so yeah. in mine, I, I, I share a lot because I have pictures, I put pictures up there, I do that all. So I can really, it, it, it really helps. I think it really helps. And like when we find the links, just like I'm looking for the link in Moss, just like everybody else, once I find the link, all I have to do is take the information and merge it into to my tree and, and it comes up with a, 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 a good detail of who's who in, in the family and how they get there. So it's something, and I, I'll train, I teach, you know, I'm an unofficial person to teach you how to use it. I, so if you want to get it and learn how to use it, I can help you with that anytime. Jerry, can I go next? Because I want to say something. Jerry, can I go next? Go ahead. Okay, so uh, first of all, some of you have seen this before. This is, this is a book I wrote, um, Delving Into My Bitter Roots. But I wanted to say something to Eddie, because Eddie, what happened when my book, when I started doing my research in my family, so uh -huh. this, my, this year, my father, he was an engineer. He, he passed away this year. And so was my uncle, and so was another mm -hmm. uncle. And so then I started going back in my family to find out. I want you know, could I find out, this book is about, can I find out about my third great grandfather? And what was so fascinating that I found out in my family is I kept going back in, in the past and found out that there's a, a type of person who's an engineer. They were also carpenters. They were also builders. And I found that all the way back to my third great grandfather because they came over and they worked on the rice fields and they came over from Africa and they were working on the rice fields and they were actually bought to the United States. It wasn't the United States, it was the colonial times to build the rice fields and they were builders and they did fantastic work. So I found out in my family that I had this engineering, I call Jean, because I'm a math major. And that was fascinating to find that all the way back to the, my third great grandfather. So you might find something like that in your family too, if you have a lot of engineers and construction and things like that. So that was fascinating that I found. Oh, great. So, uh... Continue yeah. giving us your bio, uh, Donnie's. Okay, I'm, I'm Donnie Slay. I'm, I'm not a moss, 
So I met Jerry, we are part of the San Diego um, uh, genealogy group. And so he started our um, Zoom meetings. And so I kind of met up to him and I've been working for genealogy for 20, 20, 30 years. And then the last couple of years after I retired, I decided to write this book about my family. Um, and um, the, the, the reason I found it is because I found my, the, a, um, a bill of sale for my great, third, that third, third grandfather. And he was 84 years old in, 19, in 1854, which means he was born in 1770. And I'm like, what? He was born, so I had to find out about him. So I did all this research and I was able to use the, the slaveholders family and go all the way back and find out what happened to him. So it took me six years to write this book, but, and I also you know, help, help other people to figure out their family too. But, and I'm, so I'm, I'm here to kind of feel like what other people's family are. I think your family is really similar to a lot of things in my family. That's what I'm trying to find out, how, you know, how the families were and what was going on that was similar to, to people. And, and um, the story of, of slavery that we're being told, I found a lot is not true. And so that's what that, um, when you start going back, you start to find out we had resilience, we were strong, we were smart, and that's not what you've been told. So well, I, I what, what, about, what about it wasn't true? Well, this, this thing like, okay, that everybody was, you know, out there, you know, moaning and groaning and, and, and slaving in the, um, um, you know, picking cotton and, and that we didn't do anything and that we weren't very smart and, and that we weren't, we didn't know anything. All that's not true. And so even when I found out, um, I went back to South Carolina to see where they built those, um, the, the rice plantations. And at the time the, the, when they built them, they said, oh, these are marvels of, of innovation. And you know, the, the pyramids are like this, but, and then later on they thought white people did that, but no, it was black people that did that. And so I, I found that over and over again, stories like that, that you know, people invented things, they did things, they were helpful, they helped each other, they were resilient and no one talks about those things. So, and even, even I want to help you guys look to see and I, I found out that a lot of the people I see that are really um, are um, successful now, they started reading right away in the 1880s and 1890s in their families. So if you look on the census and find that to be the case, I call them the first upwardly mobile um, African Americans. They were already reading. They bought land. So if you see that's going on in your family, now you see us being successful now, where we're standing on the soldiers or what they did. But nobody tells you all these things. So those are all things that I'm excited to find out. What did it take? Thank you for that. What did it take to compile your book, and how long did it take? Um, well, it it took six years because I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> And I, I knew the information, but just to, I had to like step by step figure out, you know, what was going on. I made this giant database to put everybody in there to figure out what was going on. And it changed as I went on because the story kept changing as to what I wanted to show. So toward the end when I realized, oh my goodness, I could find people way back there who were carpenters, who were building things in other parts of my family. They said, oh yeah, they, they, we were builders there, dad too. I'm like, wow. So it changed over time. And the more I went back and the more I understood and the more I understood how to do that, to look look in their life, and their their lives were similar and different from ours, and to figure that out. So that's why it took me so long. Yeah, but what was your motivation to actually uh, to uh, write a book? Um, my motivation to write the book was, I'm a teacher at heart. <laughs> so I'm a te once a teacher, always a teacher, and I want people to know that you know our history is different our history is more our families are more as i call we we are um, we have our superpowers in our family and we need to figure out what they are so i want people to know more of that what's your superpower in your family I haven't figured out the mosses yet but we'll, we'll figure that out <laughs> that's cool <laughs> all right uh thank you thank you donnie's walt could you please give us a, a you know a brief conversation about yourself and your family just so we're really interested to know who you are. Well, it started out, you invited me on here because of my wife, DNA matching with you. And lo and behold, we kept digging, we kept digging. We opened the tombs of the pyramid and poop, up popped me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the little pharaoh tootin' tut. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
it ended up being I'm related to my wife Ooh. and Jerry. And that surprised me because I had looked on this thing and I didn't pay much attention. And, and then my wife popped up. So now I'm mostly on here for myself. And I'm from uh, Florida here. Uh, my father from South Carolina. And on my mother's side, I'm still trying to trace that thing because we are they are features, Lewis Jackson, and I have some documents I gotta put on the system to show that when they broke loose from slavery, they migrated down to Ocala, Florida, and was given some land and stuff like that, and then they just blossom out. Uh, I'm retired military, 21 years. I went straight into teaching math and science. Oh, that's uh, too fast, that's too fast. <laughs> what, what military, and tell us a little bit about that, because you know, you, you're a warrior. Tell us a little bit about it, brother. Air Force, well, I, I went, you know, I had a scholarship to Morehouse, mm -hmm. and back then, you know, being from a single parent home, I was raised by, my daddy's brother, because when he got me, he was married to somebody else. My birth mother, biological mother had two kids already. My uncle didn't have any kids, so I was adopted by them. Mm -hmm. He died when I was five, and uh, I was pretty smart, but I had a speech impediment. So they wanted to put me in the, back then, they wanted to put me in, in the uh, room back down there, give me coloring books. Mm -hmm. And my mom wouldn't accept that, took me to the all children's hospital and the doctor told us that there's nothing wrong with this kid. He just can't talk, you know? So don't let him do that to him. And so, you know, that was my start to not accept what somebody else say you are. And so I ended up leaving Morehouse to get money for school. Ended up staying in, retired from there, went straight into teaching math and science. Whoa. And then I had learned about my father's people from my, my mom who took me to visit them in South Carolina. So I, I knew a lot of history that way, but I hadn't put it in a form like we're doing today. So that's what you guys are helping me to do. And now that I, I talked to Eddie, we had our own little frat meeting and <laughs> I was able to take the lid off of my wife's family and that thing exploded. Whew. So, you know, another couple of sessions and then we'll be able to tie in where my folks meet with yours because it's going deep now. It's going way back. And, and then and one thing. Let, let, let me just jump in for a second. And and Walt is, you know, before, you know, before I gave him the results of our Jed match, you know, I heard uh, before I gave him the results of our Jed match kit numbers, that showed that we were related. But I also showed him in Ancestry DNA because he has a one of his uh, profile photos is a, a picture of him when he was in the military. And that's what I do. <laughs> and Walt, he's a go-getter. And he, you know, he takes me for a word. I, I, I offer to talk to people. Talk to people. I, I offer to talk to people individual, have private meetings. Well, Walt, he actually takes me up on it. Hey, Jerry, when are you available? I need to talk to you here. <laughs> He'll join a meeting. Yeah. And he, he might join a meeting and, and I'm eating popcorn somewhere. But, yeah. <laughs> but we figure it out and then we have a meeting. And then, you know, I go over some of the tools that people have taught me, like, like some of the things that Eddie has taught me and Diane and, and the rest. And then, you know, I'm self-taught too. You know, you got to get out there and get the information because it's out there. But when I did yeah. talk to him, we got closer and closer. And he's, he was doing this for his wife, his wife, his wife. And she's an Ellison. And mm -hmm. initially, I thought that she was uh, on my mother's side because they're, they're Ellisons. 
but eventually what happened is you can have a name, but that doesn't mean that that is the person on your tree. You know, it's, it might, that might not be your, your relative. But I sure knew that when, when he mentioned that, I said, well, let, me, let me surprise him. Let me give him a gift. So what I did, I did my gym match. I gave him the, our comparisons there. And I pulled up my ancestor and I showed how he's related to me on my father's side there. And I showed it to him. And he was, uh, he was quite surprised. <laughs> Wasn't you, brother? Yes, very. <laughs> very. And, and like you were talking about loving that science, I got to go back. Now, I do know a part of my history. Uh, back in South Carolina, we were known, known for the best moonshine making oh, quality. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> that's, where, that's where my interest in science come in. I mean, it just inbred in me, you know? <laughs> so I could... I knew stories down through the generations about that. You know? Yeah. I had an Aunt Hattie who uh, had a six shooter. She sold moonshine. <laughs> she locked a, uh, a deputy sheriff in the barn and set it on fire. <laughs> you know, not, it might sound like a fable, but it oh, is. Oh, Eddie, he could, he could, he could die in. It, it, it's the truth. Uh oh. It's the truth. Oh, just see. Do you and, have uh, say again? Do you have the recipe for your moonshine? <laughs> just wondering. I, I don't make moonshine. I do uh corn uh fuel <laughs> experiments. Okay. And uh it just come up short from being fuel. <laughs> 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 oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. See, you can legally, you can legally uh, make corn uh, gasoline. You can legally do that, mm -hmm. but see, I'm in the experimental phase where it oh, has not. Oh developed to the point of being gasoline yet, but it's high octane. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, 100 proof. <laughs> hey, Walt, thank you. Thank you very yes, much. Yes, sir. Hi, how, how you doing, cuz, Diane? I'm doing just fine. How are you? Fine. It's a blessing seeing you. Before you get started, Jack, uh, Diane. Yo. What's up behind you? What you think it is? Oh, what, is what is Kamala Mala Mala? Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Hello, uh, hello, sister. Hello, sister. Uh, hey, she's our hello, sister. Uh, sister. Uh, Are you uh, looking at that? We offers, baby. Look at that, sister. Hey. Can you see it? Let, do you, oh, do you see? Hold on, hold on. Let me go back. Me, do you see it? Oh, hey. hey. If I am, you there see you it? go. I see it. Holly, if you see I it. I see it. Where did you go? Where did you go over? Where? Where did you go over? It, it come in broken. <laughs> where? Where did you? Where did you cross over? Uh, I was in Panama. Oh, okay, Beta Lambda. I was in Panama. And city. where? I was in Panama. Oh. City. In Florida. Yes. Oh, okay. Hmm, okay. Uh, 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 we disrupted the meeting, Jerry, but uh, you know, when we when we find our sorrows and, and fraternity brothers, we have to we have to act like we want. So we have to recognize them. If we don't, right. then, then it's not right. That's right. There you now, go. Now, Dad, you see where mine is? You see mine back there on my very true. I see it. Yeah. We playing this, Jerry. Yeah, we playing <laughs> this one coming. We yeah, playing we this play, one. Play, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> man, that's what this is all about. It's fun, yeah, it's man. Fun. I'm loving it. Hey, we got a we got a young we got a young uh, uh, we got a young we got a young man over on the side that's uh, in education. Uh, I want to introduce you to Jordan Rogers. Jordan, 
Could you introduce yourself yeah, and tell us a little bit about yourself? Jordan going to be an alpha after a while, right, Jordan? I've got to ask you something in a minute. What's <laughs> happened a long time ago, it didn't happen. <laughs> well, it's, still, it's never too late. <laughs> we take them all. <laughs> That's right. You're not gonna walk around with a cane. No, you don't walk with <laughs> those doves and everything like that. Yeah, you're not gonna be hopping around with your hands in the air. You're not gonna be doing that either. <laughs> that. That's the last thing I'll be doing is this one of those. <laughs> All right, go on, Jordan. That was fun. Okay, Jordan. Jordan, let's let's hear let's hear your story. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. So I'm originally from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Um. Jerry and I are cousins um, through the Moss family. My mother um, is from Louisiana, but her father is from Arkansas. And I believe his, one of his grandparents was, um, one of his parents or grandparents is, is um, a Moss, Josephine Moss. And I believe that is a sister of one of Jerry's forefathers yeah second second uh, what am i uh, second great grandfather okay that's yeah. her brother josephine uh, josephine was her brother mm -hmm. and so um my mother's mother's from louisiana and so um uh my grandfather left arkansas he was in akins his last name was akins clinton akins was his name he went to um xavier university in, Lu in new orleans uh, during the Great Depression, and he became um, a pharmacist. Mm. Okay. And, um, now, I have a couple of questions. Can I ask you? Not, of not course. Yet. Not, not yet, Eddie. Oh, just, yeah, just, okay. second. Uh, just, just, not yet. just one second, Eddie, because like, I want to go okay. a little deeper here. So, uh, my grandfather, very interesting to hear the, uh, the science connection because he was a pharmacist. He also, um, you know, he grew up in, in Prescott, Arkansas, and he, um, you know, grew up as a farmer. Um, he he made his own wine. He you know he was a chemist. He, he made his own wine, and so I was very happy to hear that. Um, I for college um, I went to Yale University, and I was supposed to be part of the Zeta of Alpha Fraternity Incorporated, but didn't happen. So <laughs> not my fault. <laughs> But um, they still want you though. Yeah, <laughs> they do. Sure do. But um, and so at, at Yale, I had um access through the library to um, Ancestry.com, so I was able to use those those services of that website for free. And so this is about ten years ago now, and um, I made a family tree, and it didn't really go anywhere, but um. So, I, you know, once I graduated, I didn't have those services anymore. And so um, I was this year, I was uh, checking my old email address and I saw some emails in there from Jerry. And, was, you know, this is from a couple of years ago. Like, you know, I think we're cousins. I found you on answers.com. You know, let's <laughs> let's talk. And then so um, I found these old emails and then I got in contact with Jerry early this year. And so we've been talking and it turns out that um, one of my aunts who moved from Louisiana to California had met Jerry once upon a time. And so they'd been in contact a long time ago, but um, they, you know, there were a lot of gaps. And so we've been working on the gaps. And um, so um, at Yale, I studied French literature and African-American studies um, because I was interested in, you know, just the fact that not everybody who is black in this country speaks English um, in Louisiana, you know, everyone spoke French. Um, Okay. And then that got me interested in, um, I realized I had a knack for languages. I couldn't do, you know, math or science wasn't really my thing, but um, uh, language was and history was. And so, um, and so I recently started a PhD program uh, and I'm at the University of Miami in Florida. And um, so I'm doing a PhD in English right now. Um, but my focus is on sort of um, like, black diaspora so i look at okay. black culture throughout the americas so like in brazil and haiti um and cuba and the dominican republic and i 
speak those languages too and i i look at the literature and the history and the culture of those places a young young, uh, young cuss what do you know about the moss moss boys of howard university um so my aunt told me that i believe three went to howard divinity school i'm not sure when but um it was in 19 1911 is when one of them graduated james monroe okay. moss okay Go on. And so, yeah, I, I think they were they were in the divinity school. Is that right? Yes. And I think you told me that at least one of them stayed in, in that area or, or lived in Maryland. Yes. And you found a cousin. Yeah. Well, this gentleman, uh, this gentleman that is uh, Jordan, uh, a young cousin, this gentleman up at the up at the top, Mike Mike McGee. He's one of the descendants of James Monroe Moss. One of those, one of those Moss. You're your cousin. Hey, say hey, cuz. Hi, cuz. Nice <laughs> <laughs> to meet you. <laughs> so even from even from a uh, you know a younger descendant, a younger uh, family member, you get you, you can obtain information. I keep my ears open and listen, and then it, it, it motivates me to, okay, how do I connect this, the dots? And when he, and, and whenever they mentioned like my second grant, Josephine Moss, you know, that's up there. Mm -hmm. When you start seeing your second, second uh, aunts and uncles, and then you have here these descendants of them. And then that's where I had focused on my, uh, research, I was able to give him information, share information. And now here we are, Jordan, uh, say a year or so, and now look at Mike, Mike up there. He just now finding out about uh, 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 our ancestor, uh, James Monroe Moss. So oh. look at that connection. There you are. You two are cousins. Well, 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 well. It takes a lot of work. Jerry's done a lot of work. Um, I'm sure everybody here knows that, but um, seeing, you know, uh, how far back he's gone has been really fascinating. Mm -hmm. Okay, Eddie. Got a question for well, my oh, No, I was going to ask. He, he said a lot of things uh, in his traits and his family from Arkansas, Prescott. And that's where a part of my my, on my grandmother's side is from that area up in there. And, and, and from Louisiana, what was it up by Shreveport or down in that area down there where you're, you're, you're great, you're what your grandmother's from or? Uh, so my grandmother was born and raised in, in New Orleans. Um, she went uh -huh. to, before Dillard College was called Dillard College, it was straight college, straight high school, straight college. Right. And she went there and, um, one time we went, my mother and I went down to New Orleans to look for the archive to see if, you know, there were traces of her in the archive. Um, and she graduated from high school. She started college, we believe, but once she married my grandfather, um, who was, you know, in pharmacy school at the time, uh, uh, we think she dropped out. But um, she was very, she was very light skinned from um, what she died when I, um, she had about 55 years ago. So I, I never knew. Um, but she was very well educated uh, because she was um, considered light enough to go to school. And so um, when, after my grandfather graduated, they moved to um, Alexandria, Louisiana. So my mother and her siblings grew up in central Louisiana. And so this is an example how when, when, I, when I reach out to these younger uh, cousins of mine, what they do, they talk to their mothers, their sisters, right. and their aunts. And then that's how the connections, then I connect with them. And now on that same line, uh, Jordan, Josephine Moss, she married William Atkins and, and um, she has a granddaughter that's named Josephine, Ack, uh, Josephine whatever, whatever her name is, she's here. And she's 83 years old and she lives here in San Diego. And I had an opportunity to talk to yeah. her. And she was named after her grandmother, Josephine mm -hmm. Atkins. 
And she stayed with her. She remembers her. She remembers her in Prescott. The, 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 my my uh, second aunt, Josephine, she had a, a store next to the property and you know, just a general store for everyone. So she was telling me these stories and, and all this started from this young man right here. And if you give me the baton, as long as a good Lord will, I'm gonna run it down. I'm gonna run my race. Now, he also said Atkins, is that A-T-K-I-N-S? Is that so, how you spell it? No. So my grandfather spelled it Aikens, A-I-K-E-N-S. Oh, okay. Um, okay. I was talking with my aunt the other day that he created that spelling. There was a different spelling before that. He was born with the spelling A-K-I-N-S. Right. Uh, well, there's, and different, there's different verbs, but it's A-K-I-N-S. We believe that he changed the spelling to differentiate himself from a white ancestor uh, mm -hmm. whose name that originally belonged to. And, okay. and Diane, on our on our on our Facebook group page, see, uh, we have a Facebook group page, a private page. It's called Moss Genealogy Research Group on Facebook. It's a private page, but the Atkins family they have one too. See, so when you when you jump off in there and and talk with these Atkins, they have they have a real um, solid. Uh, uh, private uh, Facebook group page. So the Atkins, they are tied in. And so, again, I try to stay focused on what I can, what I can manage. Well, what I was, at, what I was asking, because um, I have some uh, cousins that I just connected with. They're Atkins, A-T-K-I-N, or A-D-K-I-N. Which they changed their, their last names too because of a they wanted to separate from from the, uh, the slave master's yeah, name. They're stuck on the name, and they're, man. And they're from Arkansas, yeah. around that area where you you had and, mentioned. And, and and when you mentioned Prescott, uh, like yeah. my, my second aunt uh, Josephine uh, Atkins, who was a moss, her and William, they're buried in Deanne Cemetery. There's a cemetery in um, Prescott and a lot of our family, it's a white side and there's a black side in Prescott, it's called Deanne Cemetery. Is that right, right uh, Jordan? Yes. Um, and also I, the- We have cousins there, so. Uh, also okay. the, the moss is up in that area too. Oh yeah, we're all in that area. Like, like- uh, it, well, it, the, it, rest, it, the moss that I'm part of it, is in that area too. That's yeah. why I'm trying to find that. that and mine are too. They're buried in that area too. That my, Prescott. Yeah, they're from uh, they're from Louisiana, up by Shreveport, up in Shreveport also. So there's a line of Louisiana mosses that 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 might be. We might find a link in there too. That that's there. So that's why I, I look because I I look at the east east tech, which I say east Texas, which is uh, Texicana and all the way up to Shreveport. Then they have some little small towns in Louisiana, like Vivian and Ro uh, uh, a little other small towns that have mosses in them too. So Thank you, Jordan and uh, Eddie. Thanks, uh, Jordan. I want I want to introduce you to everybody to my mentor, uh, Diane Trotter. She's one of my mentors and. Uh, Introduced about 15,000 times. Yeah, yeah, but I got new people. And then anytime I see you, you know, you Hollywood, I got to introduce you. Her Did you see your gift that fit you? Did you get it? What? Did you get your birthday present? Oh, uh, they haven't been, the mail hasn't been running out here in San Diego for about a couple what? of days. I got, it, oh. I got it a week ago. Oh. <laughs> it's coming. It's coming. I, I haven't gotten it. But anyway, Diane, she lives in Fontana, right? Yep. Montana, and, and I've been up there and, uh, and I've met her on my way to visit my Uncle Herbert who lives up in Palmdale, but but she's really helped me and get, give me motivation. She has a lot of our family history and and she, connect, she connected our family to the East Coast because we got some East Coast uh, bosses. And Eddie is the one in the middle. He's in Kansas City. He, he has us connected with everybody in the Midwest but he's connected to our cousin out on the East Coast. And so 
Uh, Diane is the one who has facilitated that information. So I just want you to just hear her in her own words. And she's a wonderful woman. This is my cousin, Diane Trotter. You're a little sarcastic sometimes, huh? <laughs> The election's over. The election's over. <laughs> well, okay. What I would really like for us to do, make it a goal maybe for next year, go back to see where we all have our next, where do we touch? Because uh, right now I'm working on Charles and Violet Moss. They were from Virginia. Uh -huh. And so, so they went to Tennessee, but the, from Georgia and Alabama, people went to Tennessee there also. But it seems like my moss matches that are closest to me are from Charlotte and Violet. So I am working out that tree, even though I don't really know the, the uh, Charles and Violet moss. As I work through their tree, I'm connecting that to some of my other matches so that I'm, I'm seeing how the other matches fit in there. So I think I'm on the right track. Uh, and uh, Diane, here's, here's one thing she had me, I, I only have, I'm, on, I'm only a member of, uh, what is this? I'm only a member of Ancestry. Diane, she got, she's a member of a couple of those platforms. And, and see, we share, everybody shares. You see these skills that everybody has? They are awesome and they help you. Diane took my raw data from Ancestry and uploaded it as my heritage. And she came okay. up with a relative of mine that is like 900 and something centimorgans. <laughs> 900. Oh. You know what that means? He's that like means that's uh, a, the third he, 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 He's like a second nephew. Yeah, no, a step nephew. What is, what's that? Second nephew, step nephew. Step nephew, it's one, okay. It's okay. one of my brother's or sister's uh, um, kids' kids. It's not my niece or nephew. Okay. It's a great, oh, it's a great nephew. He's a great nephew. So now. Okay, okay. I was wondering where the step would come in. No, no, so he's a great nephew. And so now what I have to do, I have to, now how, how do I connect with him? You know, like, what do I do? And so I'm, I'm, that's a delicate process. So I'm in the process of, of uh, figuring out how to do that. I did contact him, Diane. And, you know, he, 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 mm -hmm. he with the, with the, you know, he stiff armed him. And I had to have more verification yeah. before he, he was going to talk to me. So well, a lot of people don't even want the information because they may have bad feelings about somebody in the family. Yeah. And not only that. So you have to be careful. I've had people get upset with me. I'm very careful. But here's what I do. Let me, let me tell you, everybody who's here, we have tools in Moss Genealogy Research Group. I got I got a cousin, Faye, Faye, Faye uh, Coleman. She's in... Uh, She's on the East Coast or the Midwest, but she'll take any name that I have and she'll run it down CIA wise, and she'd come back and give me a report. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> and then when I have a report, then I can look at where the names are, or where they live at, and you know, she gives me the report. Then I can contact them. You know, like because some of these platforms you got to pay for it. You know, you got to pay. You're not supposed to tell us about that though. I, I don't tell them, but I'm talking to y'all, y'all yeah. family. I'm telling you the tools that I have. We, all these okay. people in this on this meeting, they all have gifts, they all have talents, and they share. Okay. Go on, Diane, finish, Diane. If anybody wants to upload the jet match or the other uh, uh, testing sites, let me know and I will show you. So, Diane. Yes. Diane, I, I tried to make a tree, because I'm not technically in the family, but I, I made a moss tree. What mm -hmm. what is the furthest back person that you have? 1790, 1785. 1785. And that is a white person or a black person? It's a black person. Ah, oh, can you up in up in the eastern part of the United States, uh, particularly in Virginia, around 50% of the black people were free people of color by like 1850. Because, you know, you could uh, buy yourself, uh, mm -hmm. buy your wife. There were things that you could do to purchase. And not only that, if uh, the slave master was your, your father, then they would free you. And so um, I believe my direct connection is to Thomas 
uh, Nelson, who is, he was a signer on the Declaration of Independence and he was governor of Virginia after Thomas Jefferson. So they both had a black, I won't call a mistress, but somebody they had a bunch of kids by. Mm. And so, so mine, uh, the Nelson one, had seven kids with this woman, Jane Spurlock. And so when he died, he wrote in his will for his son and his brother to free them and to take care of them for the rest of their lives. So that was back in like 1760, 70, around there. So, so that's why, you know, that happens. Sit down for a minute and put this one. Okay. If they were in Virginia, and that would be colonial Virginia, right? Yeah. And in the 1750s, since my great uh, grandfather there, uh, he was born in 1829, and he's with his family, uh, mother, brothers and sisters and stuff, and free people of color. So there was no way for a black person to be in the 1850s census unless they were a free person. So they were considered slaves. Okay. Are, are you talking about the 1850 regular census? Regular 1850 census. Yeah. That should be counted there also. Yeah, but but uh, the one that I have is on 1850 slave schedule census. Yeah. The slave schedule. Now I do yeah, that. That's harder to figure out, but yeah, you, you can get the slave schedule too. But on the free people of color, it's right out there in front of you with the first and last name. Oh, uh, no, but like the reason why I say that, uh, the 1850 uh, slave schedule census, mm -hmm. that's when I went through my. That's when I went, I'm gonna share my screen real quick. Okay. That's when I went through uh, my, that's when I went through my tree, you know, can you see this tree? Mm -hmm. Okay, over here. Can you show us the slave schedule? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna show it to you. Cause here's here's where Thomas. Let's put William, and we'll go. To, William Moss. He's the one that it's that he's my. He's my uh, third great grandfather, and he's on the slave schedule. For which state? For um, Hempstead. Okay, that's Arkansas. Arkansas, Hempstead, Arkansas. Yeah. Hempstead Ozan County. Mm -hmm. Come on, come on up here, baby. Don't say you can't do it. There you go. And so you're going by the age on this one. Yeah, yeah. Because okay. that's how they that's how they label though. Yeah. By the age. Here it is. It's this is a slave schedule. It's Ozan Township, County of Hempstead, Arkansas. And here's the slave owner's name, William Moss, right here. It's crazy how they wrote the SS. <laughs> yeah, but that's it. That's William Moss. Uh -huh. and, and my third great grandfather is one of these. And he's like this, this one's like 20, 20, the, the 26 year old male right here. This is the one, and this is 18. 1850, you see that the slave schedule? So what happened is when, when they, when he was free, he took on that name. He, he took on that name, William Moss. Did you try to work out his family from that list? You saw him, but could you tell like from the uh, 1870 census? Okay, well, let's put, okay now here, here he is. Here's the, 18, here's the 1860 census, 10 years okay. later. He's okay. from Alabama. Okay. The home, they, they live in, no, he, 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 he was born in Alabama, you see that? And he's a part of this house. Here he is, William and Martha. They're 60 years old. And there's Belinda, 16, Pink Willis. Those are the grandkids. And, and Wade, and let me show you what that looks like. Were they freed by then? They were obviously freed by then. Well, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's 1880. I thought you were 1860. No, no, this is 1880, but he's freed now. But okay. he, this is why I know who yeah, he know. is. This is why I'm telling you that that he's this is the person. Here he is right here. Now 
He's free. There he is, William Moss. Here's Martha, the wife. Here's, uh, he has one daughter named uh, Br Br Brilinda. And then the grandson is Willis Pink and, and Jeannie Moss, a female, the granddaughter. Well, this Jeannie Moss, she's the granddaughter. She shows up on the eight, uh, 19, she shows up on the 1930 uh, census as a cousin and her and James Monroe were in Omaha, Nebraska. They, they were staying with, uh, they were staying with their cousin, their first cousin. But that's how I know that was- Do you have person. the 1870 census? Uh, yeah, I have it. That have, one, do you have the 1870? Yeah, I, I, I have it, but I, I, I'm not, yeah, I got the 1870 census. And, but the main thing is what I wanted to show you. Because if you what, look what, on what, there, when, when you mentioned about the 1850 and, and you said that was, the, for the free slave, free people, mines weren't free then. William Moss wasn't free. And that's why we have the name Moss, M-O-S-S, -S, from that record right there, that 1850. And then those descendants are by relatives by DNA. If you will look at the 1870 census, they should have uh, other mosses there because they didn't travel too far yeah, during that time. They do. They do. So, I got the 1870 so, census. Uh, Let me look so, at uh, you, I don't. I, I can't find it. You can't find one. I got. I 18, can't find the 1870. Yeah. I yeah. Got, I have a problem with 1872. Also. I I have. Oh. One. I have an 1870. That's eighteen eighty. Yeah, 1870. Yeah, because they were they they were free by uh, seven years. I mean, five years because they got freed in a uh, it was 18. It's, you went from 1850 to 80. You don't have the 70s. You don't have you know, the 70s. I, I can't I, find I it. I don't have it on. I don't have it on here. Maybe on. Uh, let's see. You're probably not gonna find it. I don't. I don't know what happened. No, I have I one know. somewhere. I, I have. I have one. Let me go back just one second. One second. Well, I hope you do because I'd like to see it. Yeah, because we can't hardly find the 1870 census. Yeah. And they're very small. It's a very small amount of the 1870 census that you can actually look at. Now, I was looking it up and there were states that did state censuses. I know Florida has a lot of them, but uh, I was looking for one for Tennessee. Okay, here's here's the one. No, that's the 1850. No, it, it's just the, you sure this, it, oh yeah, this. Yeah. But, but, so but I, find, if you find the 1870, it's just, you know, it's, it's there, but a small amount of information. Yeah. I do have, um, one, I do have one in my records though. Okay. Uh, I can't find it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'll make that a you point. If you have it, it would be sure to us. I'd appreciate it at some point, okay, not will. today. Okay. I will. But that's an example. See, see, Wandell, do you see how we uh, jumped into our screen, share screen like that, Gus? Yeah, see that, uh huh. It, it takes us back. You know, we, you know, we have the, the, the people you see on the screen. You know, they they're the closest thing to a uh, uh, certified genealogist, and I'm not too far behind. Okay. Now, I got on mine as far as the mosses. How about that, I, I Michelle? Know. How about that, cousin Michelle? Some some documents on the moss that they were from uh, Warrington, uh, Warren County, Georgia, and I found mine goes back to 1794. One of my relatives, she was she was a free uh, slave, but then they revoked her freedom and put her back into slavery. And I found the documents. They went to the courthouse and she filed papers about that. And I found those documents too. And you shared that with me. I appreciate that. Thank you. Right. That's good for writing out the history of what happened. And, and Diane, we have a we have a member named you know a, a, a relative Tommy Morrison. Uh, no, Tommy Lewis is his name. He's been on our last couple of meetings. <clears throat> he actually has a will that has uh, the slaves' names that were passed on to the family. You remember that, Michelle, when he showed us that? Yeah. Yeah, he showed us the names. He he has a will document 
I have a lot of those, and they say that's one thing you use. Go to the yeah. police and yeah. you'll find the one that they had because they're yeah. listening. So he had some of those records because uh -huh. he was trying to put together, you know, the, which which particular slave owner had my family cluster. But he was a little off. But he was also in the ball game too. I can't say for sure, but he did share. Yeah, they divvied up the slave between their kids when they died. Yeah, so and they had the, they had their names, didn't they? And uh, sometimes they would share uh, share a slave. A couple of them would share a slave. That's crazy. Wasn't that Michelle? Tell us about that. Which, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, you. What do you recommend? Michelle? About yeah, Michelle. Okay. okay. Tell us about it, Michelle. Well, I remember that day when he was sharing the names and mm -hmm. he talked about, um, well, he showed us how they were wheeled out. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that I further talked about is that you need to find the wills and contracts of yeah. people that were left because even though we don't have the names, we have the ages. But if you look at the contracts and wills that were left, they give the full name sometimes. Sometimes it's first and last names of the slave and they say who they go to. And then that's also another way to trace because then you can look at the... Um, the census record of that person to see where they lived and possibly follow up to find your ancestors as they become free, they're probably in that town. And another thing I just noticed, um, they didn't move a lot. No. To move around was kind of rare. Usually when you find people back then, they kind of lived in that place and died in that same county. No and then when you find people, when you find people that have moved, you kind of lose them in ancestry trying to mm -hmm. find them. And then, you know, you might find them again when you find kids and then they refer to their parents and then you're like, oh, this is where they moved to. So tracing those records are kind of difficult to say the least <laughs> when they move. Donise, Donise, what you say about that? Oh yeah, I, I want to share my 1870, okay? Yes. Okay, okay I do. Okay, you have to, you have to um, sh let me share. Okay. What state is this for? This is from the Louisiana. Okay. Okay. Okay, so this is my, this is my great grandfather, my second great grandfather right here. Um, 1870. This is the 1870. So this is what's on it. There's not much on there. Mm -hmm. I quit, quit moving around. Ah. <laughs> okay, so my, my maiden name is Smith. So see, I'll be Smith right here. Mm -hmm. You were excited when we were here. So this is a Smith. And then this is my great grandfather here, Smith, um, right here. And then this is his friend. And this is his brother. And this is the slaveholder. So if you find the 1870, a lot of times you could see uh, this was the slave. It wasn't their slaveholder at the time. Because I, I kind of know about this because they were in a court case. This was actually this the um the um overseer this is this overseer right here oh. is, is that the term overseer or is it slaveholder no no the, it was the slaveholder oh, was the the owner, and go the over the they, the they took care of the, go to the top and let us see what the title is of that okay so this page right here is 1870 right there what does that say right there profession occupation Oh, yeah, definitely. yeah. It just says okay, and then this this is how much money they have. I can't. So this is the much money you can kind of count. When they say farmer here, that means so this Vance. This is a Vance right here. This is a Vance, and we knew who that was. This person right here, because um, I have a list of all the of the slaveholders. I have a list for them from there. And then this is um, these guys are all farmers. And then this is the Vance. This is him. They live right. And then I also have a contract. Of, if you can go on, um, on on Family Search and find the contracts, so I have actually found him in 1866 on a contract where he was. And so this is Meriwether right here, and then this is Sam right here. So there's not much on here. It just tells you if they can That's read good. right here, and they can tell you where they came from, yeah. and if there is money, and then their ages and what they were. And so they and then they have a lot of. That's the point I was going to. The point I was going to make is if you can find the 1870 census, because they didn't travel a lot, you can usually find the 
slave, former slave owner on the same uh, section with the uh, former slave. Yeah. Maybe it's the same page yeah, or that's, page. That's right. Yeah, that's what I've usually found where, where they yeah. were. So um, that that's that one right there. Let me, let me show you one more thing. Um, if this will go up fast enough, okay, into his in my gallery. So if you don't know their names and you just have ages, but you have the slaveholders' name, then you should be looking for the wills of those slaveholders. True. Yes. Okay. Let me see if I can find this. Let's see. Okay. Uh, um, is it here? Do I have it here? Uh, that, uh, Michelle, where do you find the wills at? Sometimes they're in ancestry and they're in family search. There's a lot of them in the fam. Is that the name of mm -hmm. familysearch.org? Yeah. And you can search the names in there of the slaveholder and their wills and other things about them come up because they have way more records than we do. So that's where you would find the different the contracts, the wills, and the land things that the yeah. things that they yeah. own yeah. would be but under the slaveholder's name. So this one is from No Land to Only Slaves. And this is the one I told you about because there's actually one of these for Hempstead, Arkansas. There, I saw one, I haven't just found it in there. So mm. this is our slaveholders right here, the Gilmers right here. This is the Gilmers right there. And then this is Samuel right here. This is my second great grandfather right here. And there is that brother Meriwether right there. Wow. Okay, and then down here, this is Granville. That's This is what started me, Granville right here. And he was 84 years old. I'm like, whoa, 84. This is how I knew he was born in 1870 right there. And so we found out that this, this is his wife and that this people now are family too. We didn't know that. And this one is family too. So we're finding all these people are family. We didn't even know as we keep going on, but all of these are family. So Meriwether, William is his twin brother. So they're both 22. And then Jane and then Handy. And they're all all family. So you guys have one of these too. I was going to tell this to to um, Michelle that I found. This is called No Land Only Slaves, and they have a list. And I found one from Hempstead, and I found a moss in there. So you guys can look to see for that. Where's that at? Wait, was what it was the name of that again? No. Okay, land? here it is right here. Okay, it's called No Land Only Slaves, and it's by Edith Smith and Vivian Helmer. Okay, and they have one for each, they have them for different um, parishes or counties, either a parish or a county. So I'm gonna stop sharing here. Yeah. And um, so there is one for Hempstead. There's one for Hempstead and there is a moss there too. Okay, you have to go, I, don't, I don't know who it is, I just, but I know there's one there. Yeah, I got, I got documentations on him. Hey, Diane, you remember that information I sent you on Hempstead? Yeah. yeah. yeah I got that. I got some. That's why we're going to be making our G uh, GMH group from Hempstead County, uh, in specifically Old Zan Township. That's where that 1850 slave schedule uh, is located at. Now, do they possibly have some from uh, for Louisiana also? Um, this is on Family Search. So this is where you find it. So you you have to find it in Family Search. You have to go in the catalog to find it and they have 19 different ones but it's just here no there as to where it is it just happens to be whichever one they have well they do have a subject catalog below that is what i'm looking at and i'm seeing uh arkansas louisiana texas and i don't know if they have more but i guess at least those three specific states are here oh, okay. but they're not all of them are there though that's why you have to find yeah. out hey jordan jordan what you think it is Go on. Go on. That's that's sort of the missing key for me is the this um, the wills. I never thought about using those to to find. I, did, I never knew where to look for those. So um, I think that'll tell you a lot more than you know than I knew before. But um, the um, that I think Donise, were you saying that on some of the census records, the um, the slaveholders themselves, or at least the foreman, would be on the same sheet as the as the enslaved? Okay, so there's two things. So, mm -hmm. so um, I found our uh, overseer on this, is on the same page in the regular census. So it, in the regular census, I found him right next to him in the regular census. So in the 18450 regular census in the 1860, and that's how I knew who, who he was. 
Now we had records that we were able to find out who he was. And I had somebody help me with this to find out his name was Vance because this person who I met was a Vance. And so I went to, I went back to Louisiana and I met the Vances and it was a whole story. It was really funny because the Vances and the Smiths hadn't seen each other for 200 years. <laughs> so, but, but because he, that Vance actually had a child from our family, but they never married. They just had a child. And then that child later on, um, he, um, she took care of him, that Vance, because he didn't have a wife. And then later on, he gave her land when he died. Well, they got mad at that, the rest of the family. And there was a big court case, a huge court case. They went all the way up to the Supreme Court in Louisiana about this court case as to whether he could give. <laughs> That's how come I learned something. That's another place to look at court cases. So the court cases, and so she didn't, she didn't get to receive that land, but there was a whole court case. And in the court case, I can see what he says. I kind of, I talk about, I know who the brother is and who other people were because of this court case. So all kinds of places I found information. I wanted cool. to share something else. I don't know if I mentioned before, but um, one of the things that I learned in my class is that um, a lot of times when you are searching an ancestry, and the person you're searching for, they give you the name that you're searching for in their immediate family. But if the grandparent is living with them, it won't list it. So one thing, if you're stuck, you might want to go back to your senses and take a look. There are stepchildren living there, at, which is good information right, right. because the stepchild for the head of the household means that that's the mother's child by somebody else usually. Mm -hmm. right. So there are cousins living there. And so I'm in the process now of going back where I've been stuck to relook. Also, not only is it some information that Ancestry doesn't pull about the immediate family, sometimes on that same page, relatives live close together and you have other relatives in the family. So it might be a moss on the page that you were searching, but you need to look at the document. It might be two more mosses further down the page. And it, more than likely they're related if they're right next door, right down the street or, or, or in the same building. Or, so that's been helpful. Or, or go through the, every, if you find one, go through the whole, the, back far enough, you know, you can go, go through four or five pages to the right, four or five pages to the left. <laughs> And you, you'll see all these families. And not only that, you'll see who, who they married. And then, and then it comes down to our, our, our fantastic through lines. We share our through lines and the through lines, just, they all pop up right in front of you. All this research that we're doing on through lines, they pop up you know, right there. And it, it saves you a lot of time with through, through lines. As a matter of fact, let me show you show you mine just 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 briefly, just part of it. And this is something that I had shared with Eddie. Uh, let's go back right there. All right, there's my. These are my. You know, that's my mother and father, and we're going to go on down. To, hey, uh, uh, Wandell, there's our, our grandfather, David Marsh, right there. See right yeah. here? Wandell. Yeah, man. There yeah. you go. And that's, that's uh, Big Mama. Mm -hmm. That's his wife. Yeah, I see him right there. Yeah, that's Mama. Uh -huh. <laughs> Mama. And then here's Thomas Moss. He's, he's the relative to, uh, he's the brother of, of Josephine. And he's Della, and Della Heron. And he's, and he's, and like on her, my Della, she has like eight people who match, but I'm gonna go down further because here's the ones that I wanna show here. Ruben. City Moss. Her name was Robbins, right? Rob, Roberts? Roberts. Yeah, okay. Roberts. There she is. And here's the ones over here. Here's the Alice Wiley. And, and these are, these, these relatives here, these are the, my relatives who are related to Tamara. Tamara manages, Tamara Dixon, she manages these three right here. 
And I talked to this AL. See this AL? She's the lady. Her name is Aline right here. There she is right there. Second cousin. She has 20 Central Morgans. She's um, 93 years old. And last week I called and talked to her. And I told her about her family, uh, City Moss. She didn't know, she didn't know her, her great, great grandmother, City Moss. And then I gave her the information on that, on her. So mm -hmm. that's, okay. the, that's an example. Go back to the, the other Moss. Which one? A city's husband. Okay, Reuben. Yeah. Okay. Okay, here's the Atkins. Uh, Jordan, you see the Atkins here? Here's Josephine. Let me do this here real quick. Um, okay, uh, jo uh, Jordan, here's, uh, here's Clinton. Yeah, my grandfather. Laura. Mm -hmm. Sister. Uh, uh, and um, here, Eric Davis. Yeah, my first cousin. Shawnee. Shawnee. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's your uh, that's your first cousin too, actually. Yeah. And Judy, is, Judy's daughter. Yeah, so, Judy's daughter. And here's Judy. This is my cousin Judy. And mm -hmm. here's Janice. Your mom's name Janice? Uh no, that's my mom's sister, other sister. Okay. Okay. So 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 you see how this these and here's 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 from the Laura B. Here's S S M. That's mm -hmm. that's another one. So that's the relatives that I have surely from her. Now here's James Monroe. Now here they are. Here's here he is, my sec my my great uncle. And here's Melvin Wynn. And then Ella Merritt, you talk, you, you mentioned that Ella. Here's my cousin Val. She lives in Washington, DC. Mm -hmm. She's 50, she has 58, uh, 58 Central Morgan, but she lives in Washington, DC. She's she's overcoming COVID. She got COVID about two weeks ago and she's still valid. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And then here's all these different uh, from her, the barns and the, the different different cousins over on, on that side. These are these are the descendants of of uh, James Monroe, right here. Okay. And, and and here's a picture of them. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Can't, it doesn't it doesn't come up big but that's that's an example of how we can just quickly go through and, and see like all of us how you know the, the DNA relatives how we're connected I, I have I've, I've had I've had that far, far back on my tree that when I do a through line it connects a whole lot of people for me did you see that Jordan yeah I saw all right. Was, was that was that informative? Yeah, I didn't know how like the Moss boys were related to um, like my grandfather. So that yeah, that puts it in place quickly. Yeah. Hey, hey, Jerry, on your through line, you need to you need to find out about those evalu the evaluating uh, hints on there too. Yes. Like Jordan can fill in those ones that are private because you. They're private with private trees, but you need to add those to your, your through line. I will add them, but because like that, that, helps. that definitely helps. And, and the, within the last two weeks, I've talked to uh, that's how I got, got, got the information filled in. I've talked to both of those ladies, his aunt, and I talked to his and, and I've talked to his mother. Right, you, and I've talked to well, the since, you share, well, since you're sharing your tree like that, you need to fill that information in there. Okay, so I, when we I, I jump it, on. I jump on it, champ. Yeah. I, I jump right okay. on. Okay, yeah, you you lagging now, man. You making me look bad. <laughs> but, I, but I showed. You, I showed you information. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, we're gonna have some closing comments and and shut it down for the year. And this has been an awesome, awesome meeting. Uh, let's start with you, Mike, and then uh, Wandale, uh, Tony, and Michelle. Eddie, Donise, Jordan, uh, Walt, and then Diane. Mike. Well, 
again, I'm just overwhelmed by the num amount of information that everybody has and that last little thing with James Monroe and his, and his daughter kind of was right towards my alley that I was looking into trying to figure it out. And I do recognize some of those names of down, down the line. Um, so that's good to know. Um, I'm looking forward to hearing more and more and learning more about uh, genealogy as, as well. Thanks. Hey, thanks, Mike. And, and when I, you know, my photos that I have, you know, his brothers, you know, Luther, Samuel, you know, the story, and you're right about being porters, traveling, that's in our blood. And, and once those, that generation were porters, they were able to bring in their nephews into that, in that line of work. And, and they were able to travel across the whole country from, from, from the mid, uh, Midwest to California. Uh, cousin, Cousin Wandell. Yeah, this has been uh, extremely informative to me, and I see I have a lot of work to do. And uh, but it's really actually good to see other people who are related to me. And and Diane Trotter, you're down there in Fontana. I'm right here in Los Angeles. You only like about forty or fifty miles, about fifty miles from me. Get out of Dodge. Yeah, I'm in Los Angeles, and uh, and, and I got a friend that lives out there in Fontana. So. Um, and that's extremely close. Uh, you, 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 used have, you used to have a house out there somewhere. Where was it? Uh, in Moreno Valley. Mm -hmm. I stayed in Moreno Valley for 13 years from 1981 to uh, 1994. Um, and then moved back to Los Angeles and, and been here ever since. But I'm looking at, um, there, there's a lot of work for me to do to catch up. And, I, and Jerry, I know that you and I are, are kind of like intersecting right there because uh, our fathers are brothers, and um, and that's going to link a lot of what I'm going to be researching back right straight through the same history that you're getting from our grandfather's side, and it's going to link me straight to them. Yes. And um, I'm, I'm really looking forward to because I like I, I've got a lot of work to do, but it's going to be really important because I have children and I have grandchildren. Well, and uh, it, 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 that's true. And what happens too, I, 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 you, you'll be able to finish, but they'll be, they'll be contacting you sometimes when you're on this, this platform, I have nieces and nephews. They contact me. Who am I? Who is this? Okay. Who is your, who is your daddy? You know, he's my this, he's my that. And then I got, right. you know, I got, <laughs> So I better be on top of it to some degree, you know. <laughs> Go on, cuz, finish. Well, you are, Jimmy, because, because see, you link deeper than me. I mean, I could go back, but because the fact I wasn't raised with everybody, that really put me away from the distance to like, for like my starting off home, because I was born in Omaha. And uh, it's where, it's where uh, my father met my mother. And, um, so that being by itself, you know, I look at a lot of lost history up until the time of 19, 1974, but looking forward now to go through the genealogy, it helped connect me back further and, and give that to my children moving forward as well. So it's gonna be really, really important because you know, I'm looking at lost relatives, what I'm looking at right now, people, people that, um, that are related that you just don't know, and you can pass them on the street and don't <laughs> don't, know, don't even know that you're related. But this would actually put faces with the genealogy of of the Moss family. So, uh, I'm looking forward to that. It's going to be a lot to learn. It's going to be a lot to dig and find. But but the, the, but the end results are going to be fantastic. And I and I listened to the engineering part of the conversation and the math. Uh, parts of these conversations and math for me, I, I was an elevator mechanic for like 30 years. And, but math had to be my background to get me into that field because of all the things we had to learn mathematically for electricity. So when I listened to the, 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 uh, the engineers in the family, I probably could have been an engineer but I happened to fall into 
the elevator field, but I used my uh, background in algebra and geometry to get me through a four-year program. And, and you have to have had that to get through the math part of my trade. So this is interesting. Thank you. Thank you, cuz. Uh, Tony and uh, Michelle. Yes, uh, good evening. I think this is, uh, has been a wonderful experience uh, with, with your family. Uh, Michelle is still trying to figure out how she fits in. So what we're gonna uh, do is follow up on Diane's uh, suggestion about, about the goals of, uh, for 2021 to determine how we all link together. So we're gonna work on that and see how Michelle actually does link with the family here. And I think that that Atkins uh, surname really helped because we just found a whole bunch in her mother's uh, ancestry report. And uh, I think this is just an awesome forum as a family, uh, pulling all your resources together, pulling all your knowledge and information and working together to do this type of, of thing for family research and family ancestry. And uh, I'm just happy to be a part of it and helping out Michelle. Man, he gets the MVP. That's the most we've heard of him. And <laughs> <laughs> great job, man. You don't have to say nothing, Michelle. Most improved. <laughs> uh, come on, Michelle, give us some closing remarks. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm enjoying doing this. It's like every time I come, I pick up something new to look up. Then I'm up all night. Um, and he was mentioning the Atkins. So we looked up all the spellings and all the spellings are related to my mom. So that's pretty interesting. Um, and I, I do use Family Tree Maker. Well, my husband uses it more. He's showing me how to use it. Um, so we've just been busy trying to pull everything together in the midst of trying to get certified. So uh, yeah. we've been busy and, I, and I'm enjoying this and it's nice to see all my cousins. A side remark, when I went to, um, when I started off at my college for my undergrad, it was engineering and math. Wow. Because in high school, math was my best subject. <laughs> but uh, why I didn't finish and that is a whole nother story. <laughs> you didn't have to say that. Okay, so <laughs> that's all I have to say. Go on, Eddie. Thank you, Michelle. <laughs> My turn? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, hey, this was, this was very informative this time, too, because I, I learned so much uh, just in this two-hour two period. And uh, Denise, she's she's a gem next to uh, Diane, so I appreciate every time you guys come on online. And uh, to Mr. Jordan, the information you have will help me out too, because uh, like I said, I have Atkins and stuff like that, so you you shared a lot of information. And Mr. McGee, Mr. McGee, I got some relatives that are McGees also, <laughs> but. Uh, so I, I, I'm looking at all aspects, but this has been very informative. I enjoyed this. Thanks, Eddie. Denise? Well, I am so excited to meet so many math and science people. That's exciting. Because yeah. <laughs> when I was going to school, I was a strange person to be doing math and science. So hi, y'all. Thanks hi. for being in my group. <laughs> I, I want to add, I, was, I started out in, in engineering also. Mm -hmm. So I had a strong math background too, but some something hit me the wrong way. <laughs> that's why. Jordan, the math and the science thing is really funny. Uh, I was going to tell Eddie that my dad actually went to Prairie View in the seventies, and he's uh, studied mechanical engineering. Wow. Uh, on the on the other side of not related to the masses, but uh, yeah. And, um, but no, this was fascinating. Um, I came from a branch of our family that didn't really talk much about ancestry. And um, my mother's the same way, like her parents were that way. And like, she's the same way. And she's not the type who would go and find this. Her sisters are more, more or less though. So it's really interesting to see the, you know, the, uh, you know, just sort of have, 
relatives that you know I never would have known otherwise like if if I hadn't thought to look myself great great thank, thank you Jordan uh Walt well I, I, I'm just elated each time I get on here and each time I come back I've opened another shell and information have just blossomed out I mean it just spreads and I get myself wrapped up and I'm spending hours and hours a day just <laughs> researching information. I mean, it's just flowing. And uh, Jordan, uh, U of M, I'm right down the road from you, but actually it's four hours. But Florida is slim and we long, but we're close together. And I have sisters and brothers right down there in uh my, matter of fact, my daughter just come from Japan and she's in buying a home in Pembroke Pines right down the street from you. But uh, everybody, I enjoy you. And uh, I'm going to tell you some more stories about that South Carolina crew the next time. <laughs> I got a few more stories. <laughs> Thanks, Walt. Diane, Thanks, you close us out. Okay, it's good to see my frat showing up. And Tony, I'm glad that we have a kindred spirit thing going on. I want to know more about the connection. That's my thing. So, Denise, I'm probably going to be contacting you to talk to you to see if maybe you can help me with Louisiana. Uh, Arkansas at one time was a territory of Louisiana. And so I'm wondering if that's one reason I'm having some problems, you know, with, with uh, Louisiana. And uh, uh, meeting Jordan, that it's really a pleasure to meet a young mm -hmm. man who has been to Yale. And we have it's really many people in the family that have accomplished many things, but we don't know because we don't know who they are. Mm -hmm. uh, and probably as we're going through our work, we'll see one or two people. We, we all need to know about those people to encourage the kids, you know. And they should really be able to relate to Jordan because you're in your 20s. No, he's about 30. 31. Oh, 31. okay. Well, still, that's, that's close. What? 51? 30. 30. Oh. <laughs> Kindred spirit. That's yes. what you are. <laughs> but we need to have more of our young people being critical thinkers yeah. and thinking about positive things in the world because people talk about reparations when you get those reparations what are you going to do with them you know it's, they shouldn't be squandered whatever we do should be a resource so that we can build ourselves as people and then the people around us right hey Thank jerry you. go on go on Gus. okay um i was listening to uh, is that cru cruiser cruiser yes sir and you were saying how you and your wife were like related through the mm -hmm. genealogy, right? Through Jerry. Through Jerry, okay. <laughs> okay, all right. But yeah, through genealogy, yeah. Okay, so I have a case right here where my grandmother and one of her sisters married my grandfather and one of his brothers. So double you become cousins. double relatives. Yeah, double cousins. Mm -hmm. Double cousins, just like that. Yes. So when you start looking at tracing, you know how you link together, it becomes just that simple. Mm -hmm. Sides of family joined together, but they they're branched out again. Mm -hmm. But it, it happens just like that. Yes. In my wife's family, two sisters married an uncle and nephew. Okay. Yeah. So those those kids coming out, you know, they're double kin as quote, double kin, so to speak. Right. Mm -hmm. yes. And when we use that phrase cousins, when we meet people, you know, people around so long that everybody call each other cousins, but it's theoretically more true than not. Actually cousins. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It's a, it's a locality it's thing. People didn't travel around, so you love the one you with. So my father yeah. and his two brothers married two sisters and a cousin, and then my yeah. father's son married another uh, cousin. So they're all in there together. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Diane, Diane, while you're here, one thing that Diane, when, when we were comparing our DNA, her uncle Luther matches me. 
And before he passed away, Diane took it upon herself. Tell, tell us the story of what you did, Diane. To get his DNA? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got his, uh, uh, he said he would do it because I wanted to have somebody at the next higher level above me. So Uncle Luke gave his DNA and that was in 2015. And then he uh, died uh, like four years later. And uh, Aunt Maisie got on with us about six to seven months ago. And then Jerry asked her to give her her DNA. And so then she gave her DNA. So then we have two people that were in their 90s uh, that, that gave uh, DNA. And it's been really resourceful. That's how um, I got the connection with uh, Jerry from other family. Because I don't show DNA with him, but I, you know, we know it's there. Mm -hmm. And so that's, I, that's what Michelle had said, is that some of it will show and some, some of it doesn't. And, and, and with me, uh, what, and same thing with Diane, um, no, uh, Tamara, what I'm, what I'm realizing that's coming up, uh, you know, my, you know my, my, my family, is my DNA is reaching up to, to our a, a couple of generations. Mine is reaching okay. up to that level, and that's why, and, and that's why I'm connecting with some some of the elders, the more senior people, and not the younger ones. As you get further up, okay. it, it's less, it's less less DNA. But what it does do, the DNA splits in half from yeah. going down. And, mm -hmm. But but what it does it do, in half. But what mine does do, and, and I'm proud of it is I am one of the original monsters from that 1850 cluster that I, that I showed you. I'm okay. one of the original ones. Okay. And, and, and that's, that's the connection when we start communicating. I stay in my cluster. Okay. I stay in my cluster. What do you mean your cluster? What is a cluster? Well, here's a cluster. My family cluster is centered around that William Moss, Martha, uh, the Burnells, uh, the Ellisons. I stay in a cluster that I can I can manage, because it's it gets too much to handle. I focus on the cluster, like you said, they didn't move too far away, so I stayed. I focused on them. I put those pieces to my family portrait. Just so like, that's the cluster you're working on, okay? Yeah, just like we have this this um, this gallery view. We got the gallery mm -hmm. view. Well, I, I had my four corners. I got my four corners, you know, th that I feel comfortable with, and I'm filling in my family portrait. I stay in my lane, cause it can get, it can get out there, and then, but I stay with what I know, and what I can back up through science and through verification, and that has gotten me where I'm at now, and that's what's got, it's kept us connected. We are connected through science. Right, right. My cluster is, is Memphis, I guess, in, or, and it may go back to Virginia, but I do know uh, Memphis, brother, uh, Tennessee is where a lot of the ones that I'm tied to at the highest level are. That's good. And like when I brought in Tommy and, you know, when I, and another thing too, I said, well, like if I'm going to be, if, if, if God's going to allow me to, you know, to, to be a facilitator of this type of event and connecting the family, I better learn a little bit more about these slave owners. <laughs> so that's when I got, went a little further and did research on who were the, the closest that I could figure out who were the slave owners. I, I had to be able to answer no, no. those questions. Slave holders. They didn't own nobody. Yeah, okay. Well, that's a good time. See, that's part of this is schooling. See how they're schooling me? That's part of my team. That's good. Okay, slave holders. And I had to find out who they were. And so that when I do talk and make presentations, I have an answer. And when I did my 70th, uh, I did a presentation on my 70th uh, birthday Zoom event. And part of my presentation was to... Uh, share my family tree. And, and I share my family tree with my family and, and we must have had a hundred people in, in, in total when you add up who was in the room and all that. But they were really struck when they saw that, that somebody is taking the time to put their family tree together. And one thing that I've, I've learned from Diane, specifically build your tree, build your own tree. 
Don't let somebody build it for you. You know your mom, you know your dad, whatever you do know, you know it. Build your own tree. And then you can, then when it comes down to over a period of time, it grows and the, these, you know, we help each other. But then when I explain that there's novices that don't know anything about their tree and then they look to us. So we got the torch. So it's important for us to, to be able to share what we know uh, and, and then if they're curious, help them, help somebody because somebody helped me. Gentlemen, I have to run now. My time is up. Yeah, I'm charging in a minute. Happy New Year, everybody. So, everybody, you. Happy New Year. We got, Happy we got, New Year to y'all. Yeah, we got to contact you. We got a meeting the second, and y'all, the second Sunday. Yeah, y'all can all January. I'll let you know. Second Sunday. Yeah, y'all January. can contact me anytime you want. You know how to get in touch with me. I'll, I'll answer real quick. I'm not like Jerry, I don't take time. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, God bless Bye you. Y'all. Happy New Year. <laughs> All right. Happy New Year, everyone. All right. All right. All right nice to see everybody. Hang on there, cousin. Hang on there. Hang on there for a minute. Okay, I'm here. Yeah. I mean, okay. I'm so glad to see you. I told, look, I told you moving forward that I'm going to participate and then I'm going to do whatever I need to do to do the DNA and all that kind of stuff to get the link moving back and then that way it, it, it continue to tie the family in I need yeah. to do that yeah. and I see it looking at that tree that I need to because when I see my grandfather and my grandmother's name then that links me to my dad's side like you it links us both right there to that particular side. Yeah. And so that's going to be good moving forward because that because that's something that my kids will be able to build off of that moving back. Well, I'll yeah. tell you what I do. And, I'll, um, I'll, I'll tell you what I do for you know with you. I'll set up a I'll start on one and help you with yours. And you just have to give me some of the information on your mother's side. And once I start building it, because uh, the program started helping me. And then like what you were saying, all the different cousins and the different people, you know, yeah, put them in. And then what it does, it gives you hints. And then bingo, you feel that when I fill out that, when you fill out the others. So I, I, I'll get you started. I help you. Okay. All right. That, that'll work. Yeah. I, yeah. I just need a couple of things. And, and then, you know, I, I, I got your father's side on this side. Yeah. Uh, now, I need some information on your mother. And then once we get that, then I can start building the bottom part of your tree. Okay. See what I mean? Right. So you got to jump on the thing. You got to jump and then I'll fill you in on dad's side. Okay. Questions, I'll fill you in on all that. Right, right, right. Hey, I need you, man. I need you, cuz. Oh, the, uh, the, I'm in. <laughs> I'm looking. I, I'm in moving forward. Yeah, we'll get, yeah. just get you. I think these kits are on sale, uh, the Ancestry DNA kit. And I, you know, you, you just sign up and have them mail you one of those and it should, you, and you'll be off and running, man. Okay. Ancestry yeah. DNA, order that kit. Cause that's the one that they have more, more data that shows how people are connected by relatives. It has more data, okay. database. Okay. All right, you said that's Ancestry and who else? An Ancestry, it's called Ancestry.com. Uh, their kit, their Ancestry. DNA kit. Okay, Ancestry.com, okay, all right. And then uh, yeah. so they have a kit, it, it, it won't be no more than 100, but I think they have them on sale. I, sometimes I get them for you know, $50, $69 plus tax and they send it right to you, man, you off and running. Okay, so Ancestry.com? Yeah, Ancestry.com. You want their kit, their DNA kit. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm order, on. order it. You can call in online, order it, and then get the kit. And then, you know, and, and what it is is it's a, a saliva. You just spit in, spit in the tube, shake it up, put it in a box, mail it back. Okay. And within uh, let's see, how many weeks? Six to eight weeks. They'll have your results. And then you'll be you'll you have all your results. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna order that this week. I'm gonna go up online and order that this week and get that out. And let, and let me show you something. And, uh, let, me and show you something. let me show you something. Okay. Can you see my screen? Yep. Okay, uh, let's go to DNA matches. After you get your results back, mm -hmm. it'll give you uh, after you get after you get your results back, it'll show you who's related to you through your DNA. It's just like having a tape measure and, and the time you pull out, it starts at 4,000. Mm -hmm. If you pull it to the right, okay. it it gets it gets lower. The ones that are in the 3,500, the 1,900, the 1,800, those are your closest relatives. And then as it gets down to about you know, 100 or 50, down, those are your fifth through eighth. Those are your cousins, fifth through eighth. But the ones who got the higher numbers, those are your closest relatives. And so right here, this Destiny Gooden, she shows up first. She's not a first cousin. Okay. This, this is my granddaughter. This is my son, Don, uh, Donnell. My oldest son. This is his uh -huh. daughter. Uh huh. When she was wow. here, when she was here this summer, she took the test. Okay. But there she is, and she's at nineteen hundred Central Morgans. Those are measurements. Okay? okay. And then the next one on my DNA, here he is, Delon. That's my mm -hmm. grandson. Mm hmm. You see here, here's him and me right there. Right. And he's eighteen hundred Central Morgans. You know, Central okay. Morgans. So, and they say first cousin, see, ancestry, they give themselves room. They don't put it exactly. You got to do some research to figure out what it is. Okay, okay. Since I know, and I gave him the test, so he's not a first cousin. He's my grandson, you see? Uh -huh. And then the, right. next, the next person here, this is Tracy. This is my brother Stevie's uh, daughter. That's the one. Was she in Alaska? Was one of the yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. So she's fourteen hundred. Okay. So let me just come on down again. Here's Al. Al Broker. He's my half brother. My dad has another. He he's from another lady from Omaha too. Okay. At the same time. Okay. This is my half brother Al. He lives down in Texas, and he's uh, okay. thirteen hundred. Okay. I'm just, All right. I'm just giving you an idea. Kiera, that's my, uh, she's a 925. That's my my sister, Kenetta, her son, my nephew, that's his daughter. Okay, okay. He's my half brother. This is the young lady here. She's one who called in asking about the mosses. She's my uh, niece and she's uh -huh. 889. Okay. And, and then look here, she's taking it. Uh, Let yeah, there she is right there. Yeah, I see that. Uh huh. Arlette, she's 847. Right. So you see what I'm talking about? So when you take it, you'll be in this range. Mm hmm. So you, my first cousin. So your numbers will be about eight, eight, something like that. But you see, your grandkids and all them, see, they're up in the 1900s and stuff. See? Right. <laughs> they up there. Yeah, that, that's saying something. Yes, but so and then that's how it is. And then the rest of them, they you know, they all come down on both sides of the family too. And what I do is I make red for what's on my dad's side and 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 blue. See that blue dot? That's what's on my mom's side. Okay. All right. All right. And so so then these matches, when they come up, I look at them, okay, well, she's on daddy's side. Mm -hmm. and, so, like, and then what I'll do is like Arlette, for example. Let me click on all that. I double click on her. And then right here, you put shared matches. Who, who do I share matches with who's taking this test in Ancestry DNA? So here's what I'll do. I'll pick that. And here she, you, so look, I share matches with Destiny, my granddaughter. See? Uh -huh. Hi, okay. Galan, see that? Yeah, you know, eighteen and, and, and there's Tracy, Al, uh -huh. 
<laughs> yeah, she, you see what I mean? <laughs> right, 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 right. So that's that science. You see, right. like, our let me, we share matches to them. I say, damn, we, we, you know, we, we family. And right. You, you can't deny that, you know? Right. So that's what, that's where the fun comes in, you know, when you connect okay. people. It, it, and, and sometimes somebody pops up there, one of them eight or nine, shit, like, like like my great nieces and nephews and all them. Uh huh. They show up. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta be the best. God's the source, but I gotta be the one that you know. Uh, you know, he's the source, but I'm the messenger. I gotta share right. that message. Right. You you know, I'm, I'm taking looking at that stuff. You know, and and there's something that. You know, cause, because we're all going to have to go through that Ancestry.com because my kids need to do that to, to get that link too. Because once I'm in, they in, so we go ahead and, and get that link. And, and, you see why, that. and you see why I have multiple tests, you know, so right. that's what I do. I get the test when they on sale or something, man, I get three, three sets of them. And I'll ask them, would you, do you want to take it? Yeah, I'll take it. Like, so I, like I got my grandson, I do when my granddaughter was here. Yeah, I'll take it, Grandpa. I got, but now see, I have their, I have their DNA and they help me match with other people. Right. You right. See? So the more people you can get of your family to take it and the older ones, the mm -hmm. oldest ones that you can get, it mm -hmm. reaches further up. Okay. But that's why at my age, I reached up to our second and th third ancestors. Okay. Great, great ones. Great so ones, right. So that's why my connection is like that. And somebody asked about the mosses, where are they, you know, where where'd you get that name? You can tell them now. Right. Yeah, that's true. You know, you know, there was a guy who used to work on my job. And this, was, this was a white guy, and his last name was Moss. And so you know, I often thought about that. Then, then you think about Randy Moss, the football players. You know, you try mm -hmm. to figure out, you know, is he related in that same family? You, you know what I mean? Because you yeah, really yeah. don't. Know. Yeah. You know, and uh, but I see where this is really important because it, 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 we have to go through the science to make all the connections. Yeah, and then you know, then we can, and then we can connect with each other, and and there's some who who don't know who they're parents are they don't know who their father is and right and, and then when they do connect with us you know we're the only families they really know right and, right and, and, it's, and it's really nice to talk to them and help them and hold their hand and then they end up you know lifting me up right well you know um well i, I used to always tell my kids you know i says look i see y'all might have some brothers and sisters out there i said i don't know are we not claiming nobody? I says I don't know, <laughs> but there's always a possibility. <laughs> yeah, man. But but through but through this ancestry and people depositing DNA, you'll find somebody who's related to you that's looking for you. Yeah, that's that's what this whole thing is. And, and, and remember when I was talking to Diane, you know, she said, "What do you mean by your cluster? Your cluster? I gotta stay in my lane. I gotta stay what I can manage." Yeah, because you can't manage all of that. No. No, you can't manage all of that. No, you can't manage all of that. No, that's too much to manage. Man. That'd be yeah. a big old oak tree with a bunch of branches on it and stuff like that, man. Yeah, you know, man. That's, that's hard to manage. Hey, much love, cuz. You know, I love you, and I'll, I'll be sending you a recording of this, okay? Okay, yeah, so, sounds good, man. I'm about to get me an um, a, a email where I can keep all my important stuff, where I can go back and you know, check out some of the videos of the meetings and things that you guys, because you know what happened, Jerry, is like the one reason too, I was like really like slow because I spent so, I spent um, almost four years on my mother's side uh, trying try to do airship for my great grandfather's property because my mother, my grandmother was a smith and, and my grandmother married my grandfather and and, um, and my grandmother's side, we're doing that, and we haven't done the DA. We, we've been going through the family tree to establish who everybody is by what's already known through my grandmother, my mom, and uh, 
and then through my great grandfather. Um, well, that's found, why. Uh, that's why I look forward to helping you. I, yeah. I, I, I'd love to help you put that that family, uh, you know, uh, portrait together. Yeah. It's not a puzzle. It's a portrait. Yeah, it, it's what it is too. And and we're doing paper. We haven't done any DNA right now. We're going through right now through straight relatives that are related to my grandmother and, and my great uncles and things like that. But this all, is all, 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 those, all those will help you. Oh, sure. And see, they want, they're going to help you. And, and, and the fact you have that information and we, and we, and we put it we put it on these, these computers, yeah. and let, let them do some of the work for us. You got, yeah. you got the information, but we got to put it in a format that can help you with your calculations. Oh yeah, oh, oh for sure, yeah. Because I because I got history through my grandmother's side. Yeah, which is, all which is awesome. Life. But you but you see you get you have you have it. It's like imagine if we, just like I was pulling it up on the screen. That's oh share your screen, show me. Yeah, you, you'd be able to show it. Right, right, right. And I'm I'm gonna do that too. You see what you see what I mean? Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Yeah, you'd be able, you'd be able to show it's it. It's really important though. Huh? It's really important. Yeah. Yeah, it's really know, and then like when when we were when we were on that format on my uh, on my seventieth uh, birthday event, you only have one time. Yeah, a first impression. Right. And that's the first time that a lot of my family members even saw their family tree on on uh -huh. that kind of format. So yeah, it was enough to just give them a taste. Yeah, give them the information, <laughs> and then it's interesting. And then we can we can build from there. Right, right. You know, well, you know, I, I see where I should. Like I say moving forward, I'll be in on the meetings because I have to be. You know, and it's going to because I'm a, I'm, I'm gonna send off for that kit myself, and um, and I'm gonna submit my uh, my DNA profile. And it's then good. I'm gonna, um, well, see, start working on your tree now. Put it down and write. And so when when we can start on it, I, I can call you up and say, "Man, hey, we're starting here. Yeah. Who's that name? Who's that name?" I'll put that information in, and here we'll be, we'll be on the screen like this. It's oh, okay, yeah, there she. That's that one. Then we go to the next uh -huh. person, the next person, and it'll be all in front of us. That's how we're gonna build it. You already got okay. It. All right, but we gotta put it. We gotta put it on this here computer. Okay. Okay. Right. All right, happy, work. New year. happy New Year. Happy New Year. Do the same, cousin. Uh, be safe. Hey, hey, I love same you. to you. All right. Love you too now. All right. Okay, bye. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right, cuz. Love you now. All right. That was awesome. It's my cousin Juan Dale. We had a great meeting today. Very informative. The end of the year. It's all good. It's all God. Peace. See you if the good Lord wills 2021.